Yeah, and the Saints defending. Yep, yep. So very interesting to see. It's their first game. If you were here on Wednesday, you watched the scrim against New York where they... I can't really put it anywhere. They dominated. They dominated them. Oh, yeah. It was 5-0 uh, for the Saints, and they looked really good doing it. Yeah, extremely strong strength from them there. And the one thing I did like, I, I, I uh, watched that. One thing I did like was their communication. At the beginning, it was a little bit, you know, with the, having some new players, you know, got choked out. But uh, it improved over time. So um, can't wait to see what they can do in this one. All right, so the Saints this time actually looking to just defend on the ground. I see them oftentimes go up on this little platform on the right. But Pittsburgh going all the way to through the building on the left-hand side. They're grabbing a goats into a goats. Oh, my goodness. They already took down the tank line of uh, Pittsburgh. So this push is probably going to be stopped dead. And that yeah. boop putting them in the corner is going to make things even so more difficult. try and clean up a few of them before they can leave. Mm -hmm. Get one extra one. Got the Moira. And now just charging right towards them. Holy smokes. And they are not one. letting up. Dang. All right. So a good, strong first hold here for the Saints. Still plenty of time for Pittsburgh to get some action in. So not going to change. The um, St. Clair is up about 10% to 20% for each alt compared to the Pittsburgh Gold Gang. Mm -hmm. um, looks like going for a push again. Same route. Mm -hmm. Okay, Samick just going right for the point. Just diving right in. Kind of took a decent amount of damage there. Nice sleep in the back on the D.Va. Oh, heard the grab. I don't see it. The D.Va bomb going to get the... Uh, it was a nice matrix by Pittsburgh. Yeah. Nice matrix. Mm -hmm. Bomb, unfortunately, did do a lot of damage to about three people on their team. Yeah. And, and effectively stopped the push in his tracks. And it's another team fight going heavily in the Saints' favor. Let's see if they can get a few picks here. Unfortunately, they did not. But regardless, good push, good hold. And they still got they got four ults up now, and they're about halfway on Diva and Zarya. So they're still looking strong. Yeah, by the time that's the... Uh the Pittsburgh Gold Gang get back here, though. They're going to also have the beat drop, so it'd be four alt versus four alt. Not too bad. Uh, by Autogorp so. throwing in by uh, Jub Jub. Okay, mm -hmm. going in. Do they go through the building once again? Kind of lining up for it. No, never mind. Just charging the point once again. The Shadow gets at least Ooh. two, three members nice of combo. Pittsurg, and Ooh, the, the anti, the anti. They got the, oh, the sick anti really on everybody. There. And that's at least four down at this point. That's very well played. Very well played. Didn't lose a single member. I don't think they've lost a mm. single member. I believe this you were correct. Entire map. It's incredible showing by St. Clair. Yeah, awesome start. They Ooh, we got a switch onto a Moira from uh, Brigitte, and it got a Zenyatta as well. That's weird because they were using uh, they were using Moira earlier, so. Yeah, they got a. They switched off that Brigitte to a Zenyatta. Oh, nice sleep dart. Oh, that's what they did. Okay. Night, night, Moira. So they still got the transcendence. They still got a grab surge. So um, still got a lot of resources to use. Now self destruct is up as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the grab. Oh. Diva bomb. Unfortunately, Diva bomb did not get boosted, but it doesn't still matter. managed to find the baby Diva though. Surprisingly, oh, they lose one. But they did, so there was a lot invested in that fight. They used, I believe, two ult, two or three ults on St. Clair's side. Yeah. They used two ults on Pittsburgh's side. They used the grab, and they used the, um, oh, sorry, they built up the transcendence a bit more. But mm -hmm. they did use a sound barrier on Lucio. So they have a grab to work with for this last push, but it's not looking good with the Saints still having three ults. Yeah, very scary it's position. It's a tough push. Only 20 seconds left, and like you're saying, the three alts left is going to be deadly. There's the Moira all coming right off. Like the Shatter gets out. two. Shatter. Good purple on the tank line, too. So many members of Pittsburgh dropping very quickly in this fight. Five members down, nothing but a D.Va left. And this is going to be Oof. a perfect hold, I believe, for uh, St. Clair Saints. 100% hold. And the BM self-destruct just ended all. Very good. They lost one member the entire round, so... Dang. Very well played by St. Clair. Very well played. <laughs> As you can hear, they're very happy with themselves. Very excited. That's a good way to start the Tespa season. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a statement game. It's a very, very big statement game. Are we going to see it? How confident 
<laughs> are the Saints right now? That's a good question. We'll find I out. Say, I filled you in earlier as to what exactly this could entail. <laughs> Might have a surprise in store. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it. There we go. Ooh. St. Clair Special coming up. <laughs> the St. Clair Special, if you don't know what it is, is a, uh, it's a very interesting comp where they go five tanks <laughs> and one healer. Yeah, usually it's a Lucio just for that extra speed boost. There it is. <laughs> there we go. We got three, three out of five tanks so far. Let's see if we blow out the other ones. There it is. Wow. So we got a Zenyatta on a, a Reinhardt and a Zarya so far. We got a Dio. So we got another Goats on defense for uh, mm -hmm. for the Pittsburgh Gold Gang. Yeah, safe, standard, don't mind the pick. But do they know what they're going up against here? <laughs> I don't think they're ready. Oh, oh, we got a little bit, a little bit different. We got a, oh, oh, disappointing. I was ready for the Bastion there. There, it's right along with Jub Jub for right. this first push. Here comes the St. Clair special. <laughs> we'll see how effective it is, or they just shut this down instantly. Okay, right on to the point. They, they tried to find the Ana. The hook didn't quite land, though, but there goes Zenyatta. He's down. The Ryan is in really bad position, too. Jump, jump, just unloading the shotgun onto all of them. Then switched back over. Singularity on the point. Getting knocked into Baby Diva form, but still living. But Ooh. does end up going down, but it doesn't matter. They're still on the point. This battle's Very still going fight. down. Dowling on the Lucio, keeping everybody alive for the most part. Two members of Pittsburgh left, but they're going down pretty slowly. Tanks don't exactly deal that much damage. There they only is. need one piece of the pie. So close. And it's going to do it. The St. Clair Special going to get them the first game. Wow. That did not take long. First game of the series. <laughs> it's first very, game of the very, season. And very, very big it. statement game. It says, who wants to come at me? Oh, let's go. Merry Christmas. Let's Merry see. Christmas, St. Clair. Just charges in with the Hammonds, and let's see what he ends up doing here. Just unloads on everybody, eh? Oh. Ooh. There it is. All right. That was pretty nice. Nicely done there from... He really is a wrecking ball sometimes, isn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> Fits the name appropriately. Now we are going into game number two. May say match is starting soon, but of course we are already underway. Wow, that was um I don't know if there's another word for it other than a clap. <laughs> um, losing one person in the entire first round. Mm -hmm. And they just every time they came for them, they just stopped them, stopped them. And I think the key for them too was they used their alt economy was very, very well played. They only invested mm -hmm. like maybe one, two alts at the most. To win the fight and yeah. they were able to keep you know at least two of them or three of them up so the next time they came in they could use those next two alts those next two alts so every time they came in they were stomped and they had a few pushes that could have gone either way but even even so the healers on three healers on st Clair just showed that they could keep their tanks alive and right now he's swinging his hammer just like he loves to do absolutely now game number two Underway, a little bit different, and got the single like control point. And so far, it's looking goats for the side of the Saints. And same thing for the other side here on Pittsburgh. It's good practice. I mean, um, you know, you, you do have the goats is meta right now, and it's the big <laughs> thing that everyone is playing. So, yeah, unfortunately. We don't get to see a lot of DPS, but we do get to see Jesse Zenyatta, which I have to say looked oh, very, sure. very good. Mm -hmm. He did get it, quite a few picks, quite a few picks in their scrim game with that. Oh, yeah, Although he sure. was a little out of position, but you know, it's a little bit of rust, a little bit of team, and he's new to the team, so it is what it is. But uh, here we go. And here comes the Hammond jumping on the point right away, getting himself destroyed. I'm actually, kind of surprised. That's a goat with a Hammond. You don't see that too often, but. It looks like Pittsburgh's going to be forced off for now. Blazon found the tank of uh, Pittsburgh. Taking out Vigo. And it looks like Saints able to get the point here for the first capture. And continuing the chase. No. Rest him down. Get the stagger. Ooh. 
going to delay yeah, this couple, 6v6 fight. A couple of good staggers. Diva's already built up 90% of her ult. Oh, very and, nice. And uh, Reinhardt's about 90% too, so much further ahead than the other, than Pittsburgh's Reinhardt at about 20%. So will definitely have that big advantage in that way. Yeah, because of those staggers, only now are they even like starting to line up uh, under the arches there. Like so much time wasted, 30% captured so far. Here they go, Hammond leading the way onto the point, swinging around, making things just difficult. But never mind, Jesse just right clicks him and he dies. Nicely done. Here's that right click coming in clutch. See Blazin go just going in guns Blazin if you if you can with the hammer rather. Three kills on the side of Saints, and they continue to chase down for more. Just those those picks brutal. they're getting late are just killing them too because you mm -hmm. know it's such a big difference when you can you know you yes of course you win the team fight but you know there's five people you take out the last person you know you chase them all to the end and then you take them out costs them you know could cost you five ten fifteen percent of the point just because someone wasn't with the team they died apart mm -hmm. and you're losing so much time because of that. One thing I'm kind of nervous about is we got a ninja jub just kind of off to the ooh. This Ooh, look at him. Coaching in the corner. What is he thinking about doing? Let's get with him. With him. The anti. Oh, Ooh, the, the sleep. sleep. The sleep. There it is. Oh, I see what they were trying Ooh. to do, but it unfortunately did not go quite as planned. By sleeping the tank, that could have been a very quick shatter, but it doesn't look like it matters anyway. So far, Saints taking down two with the healer and Wolfpack's Zarya going down. Seeing they're already charging in, trying to get the D.Va. Now Ana's kind of stuck between a wall and a hard place with Singularity's D.Va right there. It's a wall and a big D.Va is more like it. Exactly. And then Baby D.Va taken down. On the ground, has got to get the final two as they try to contest the overtime. Saints going to get the first game. Again? Or, or first round of game number two. Again, no deaths on the side of Saints gaming. Damn. It's, it's big. It's big. And it's good for for boating for you know how good the team is you know they they finished they did quite well last last season you know they finished yeah. top they finished top half of uh Tespa and you know it's looking it's looking very good for them and yes there was a few roster changes but you know you can always count on Dowling you can always count on Don't Touch Me to do very very well in their roles mm -hmm. so it's looking very good for them very good we are seeing a lot of goats. I am excited to see if they're going to pull anything different out, but uh, I don't think we're quite there yet, unfortunately. But Not quite. Yeah, it's nice that goats isn't the be-all, end-all of the meta right oh, now, yeah, but sure. if you want to run it, you can definitely run it, and a lot of these guys yeah. are very well reversed. Ooh, we got a Reaper. Yeah, we got a Reaper coming out. Oh, Usually only right. see it in these tight quarters maps, pretty wise. We got an Ash Hanzo on the side of Pittsburgh Gold Gang. So uh, they've got a more standard... DPS comp. Ooh, They're kind of slow getting this yeah. moving, though. Eh? Just I think they were talking about whether they want to pull the May Reaper out. Yeah, they they are going to have to rush to point, though. Ooh, the big anti, big anti from the side of Pittsburgh. I mean, in a sense, it does kind of split them up, though, because Singularity just went up on a tear on these guys, and there's got to be one guy on the point, right? At yeah. least. So it's kind of like a, a 6v5, if you think about it. Granted, you give up the first little bit of percent, and now Saints cleaning up house and going to get the retake, and then it's just so, a matter of defending it. Yeah, the key to this comp with the Reaper May is, you know, you don't have to always rush the point, but when you do get the point, it's so hard for the other team to get on there because you have close range Reaper, you have close range May, she can freeze, she can wall off this gate, which she looks like she might do. She can wall off wherever they're coming from. So there's so many ways you can reroute the other team that. It's it's so easy for them to come torn apart, and as soon as they're torn apart, you can pick them off one by one. But this this once you take this point with the May Reaper combo, it's very very hard for them to take it back. All right, Pittsburgh taking the long way around up on the high grounds, but still seem to be having a bit of a hard time like getting any actual value out of here with uh, Jub Jub stalling, and really only the Ash and Hanzo taking some pot shots. Wolfpack actually going extremely low. You can force a retreat as the rest of the team seems to be going in. Diva already demecked and the wall's going to stop her from escaping. Ash is out of position. That's two kills down as well as an out of position monkey. That's three. And that was the, the, the nano-boosted nano Reaper not even needing his ult. 
Yeah, maybe, a little bit, maybe, maybe a little BM in there. Just, you know, show him his boss. <laughs> <laughs> just making a statement, as you said earlier. Well, they have, they do have, you know, they have, they're going to have May ult. They're going to have Lucio ult. They already have two more ults up. So oh, yeah. maybe, oh, maybe you know, maybe it was just too. a misclick and, you know, we got a little bit excited. So it is, it is what it is. But um, I do think they're pretty well dominating this game, this map, this game, this series so far. So mm -hmm. I'm sure... Uh, they're ready for whatever Pittsburgh's going to throw at them on this one. So they do have four ults up for the They for only Pittsburgh. have like 10 seconds left too. Bob coming out on the outside, trying to find the back line. Singularity is exposed, but the beat is dropped from Dowling to keep everybody alive through all of these Ooh. ultimates. Save, okay. Saving saving his ult, saving his ult. And there it is, the Earth Shatter. And there it is. Death, Death Blossom doing a Death ton of Blossom. damage. I like to call it the Queen. cunning. Yeah. The, the, cu the, the culling. culling. Sorry, culling. But um, really, just St. Clair, just showing Pittsburgh that God. they're not here to show mercy. They're here to uh, show you why they're going to be one of the top teams in TESPA. Yeah, that was absolutely brutal. Now, let's see this play of the game from Singularity. Okay, finds the healer and then just charges in to continue to get even more staggers. Man. Take out another healer, and that wasted like a good, like, it's always always a good thing to do that. It's very efficient. Now, now that is actually it, I believe. Unless they're going to play game number three. I think, anyway. I think they're going to finish off uh, the series here. All right, so we're just going to do it just for the sake of practice. Game number three. And I watch Point Gibraltar, so a little bit bigger map, of course. Mm -hmm. Escort the cart map. And if you do remember from the scrims, they did use the Widow on this map. So oh, I am. Yeah. Obviously, they've already won the series with the uh, forfeit because um, if you didn't know, Pittsburgh had a non-rostered sixth player. So mm -hmm. there is this is a forfeit match. Although Saint Clair obviously performed very well, mm -hmm. um, but if if you, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm maker. happy that they decided to play it out anyway, oh, though, yeah. just very to happy. get the experience, regardless, get warmed up, like. Granted, the match has been a little one-sided, but it's definitely a learning experience for the rest of the Pittsburgh squad. And who knows, maybe they'll have a really good strategy and step up during Game 3 here on Watchpoint yeah. Gibraltar. So we do have a couple of Fair Mercies, and we do have a pair of Widowmakers. Yeah. So rather than, you know, using the goats and everyone sticking together and swinging a whole bunch of hammers out, uh, in this one you do get to see a lot of the skill that both teams do have with the snipers and with the Farah, so you can more proficiently see which team is uh, can dominate on something more off meta. So mm -hmm. I see Jeb Jeb just waiting for the I'm guessing waiting for the fire to show herself. Now finally sees him. Can he get the shot off though? As the rest of the uh, Pittsburgh team Ooh. dives in and actually takes Blaze out pretty quickly. Jub Jub in position, takes down Semek, nicely done. Farah going down. These Rockets doing a ton of damage right now. And Jub Jub wins the Widowmaker duel. So he's on an absolute tear. Only Semek taking him down now. So trading some kills back and forth, but um, not really able to get much mileage cart-wise. They do get the cart underneath, though, mm -hmm. which is uh, a good stalling point for the defense because yeah. you can start throwing some especially with the fair you can start throwing fair rockets down there in a very enclosed space yeah so it is going to be difficult for pittsburgh to uh, establish a space here a uh, jump jump taking a ton of heat from the fire i believe and uh diva but was able to escape just barely and yeah there it is as you're saying as soon as you even try to go to the car you're going to be eating some fair splash yep. and jump jump once again winning the widow duel nicely done Let's see if you can find another pick Almost had him. As I, as I was saying earlier, if uh, Jub Jub hits his Widowmaker shots, the guy can be red hot. And you, you've seen, you've seen it where he hits, he'll hit one and he'll start hitting another and another. So yeah, definitely gotta watch out for that guy. As soon as he starts hitting his shots, he doesn't stop missing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't stop hitting. My bad. All right, the wall hacks coming out from Jub Jub. Let's see, <laughs> with this, can he get some extra kills? It's gotta kind of get repositioned to the hop over with Singularity for a second. He's winning the Widowmaker duel every time. Mm -hmm. So maybe think about switching that one up. It's always 
It's got to be demoralizing, though, when, like, multiple Widow duels in a row just getting picked off. And there's another one from Jub Jub. Apparently kind of camera shy, because every time I switch over to him, he's not doing anything. But as soon as I go away, he gets the shot. <laughs> like an absolute boss. So we do have a barrage up. We have Valkyrie up. We have a self-destruct up as well for St. Clair. See how they use those. Yeah, all the tools in the Saints favor so far. This is a scary spot. Yeah, got all of them clumped up, but it's going to force the Transcendence out of Pittsburgh, keeping everybody alive for the most part. But Saints still pretty healthy with all six members alive. This push is probably going to get shut down rather quickly. Wolfpack about to go down, and then they actually used the Primal Rage for this. It's This push is kind of dead, unfortunately, and blowing another alt just for the Ooh, sake of blowing him? an alt. Ooh, we got him. And the Stagger. The Stagger. Unfortunate. All right, now I hear Primal Rage coming out from the side of Blazin. Probably was about to go down, just wanted to stay alive. Yeah. They did, and they did. They did earlier. They switched the uh, Widowmaker for a Junkrat. Um, that's um, what they did, and that doesn't seem to be working so well for him either. Yeah, unfortunately, they just uh, they've been a little bit outclassed today. But um, that's that's okay. You know, Saint Clair is a very strong team, mm -hmm. and it's good practice for them. Mm-hmm. But um, it's good to see that Jub Jub's Widowmaker has not missed a beat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah only quiet when I highlight him. <laughs> that's all. It's just unlucky. That's all it is. It's unlucky. We almost got another barrage. Probably going to be ready by the time this final push shows up. Oh, Wolfpack getting spotted Ooh. and just getting bombarded. It also helps that Singularity's been winning this Farrah duel alongside... The rest of the squad. And actually, Ooh, the sneaky shot there from the Pittsburgh Farah. But Blazin in pretty good position right onto the healers. And Yada's going to go down. Did not have any peel. Unfortunate. And it's for just him. one by one. Yeah, slowly but surely. Go down. There, it there it is. Okay, where's the tire? The point the blank tire. Infamous junk rat tire of a lifetime. And. That's going to be it. It's going to be it for round one. And, you know, even off meta, Saints uh, showing what they can do. <laughs> showing that, you know what, we don't have to play goats mm -hmm. to flex on you. We can do it with anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gl very glad to see that Jub Jub, you know, we didn't get to see a lot of him, unfortunately, um, when he was hitting his shots. But you could see it in the, uh, in the feed that he was just dominating against their fair against their Widowmaker. There was no one that could touch him. And even yeah. even with... I also got to give credit to the healers because even with a dive comp, they had a D.Va, they had a Winston. Yeah. Um, that Widow was staying back. She was staying healthy. She was staying alive. And she wasn't dying. Which, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going up against two dive tanks, especially as a Widowmaker, it's so hard to keep them off you. So big credit to the healers, too, keeping the whole team alive. Mm-hmm. Now what do we got? Oh, this is going to be different. Do I see a Bastion? I do I do think we're going to see a pirate ship. It is a very hey. popular pick on this map. Um, we don't see um, many tanks right now. I just see the D.Va. But, you know, that is a very popular pick on this map is a, sh is a pirate ship. So. Oh, I forgot. It might not be a Bastion, but it's mandatory to spin that uh, chalkboard or whatever it is. Oh, yes. Yes, I heard about this. The St. The Saint Clair Overwatch team rule. If you don't spin the blackboard, you're off the team. Yeah, that is a thing. Okay. okay. You have to spin the blackboard. But this is still, if he stays with this, this is different. I don't think I've seen much Jub Jub uh, Sombra. Sombra. It's kind of a mix. You got the Fair Mercy and you got Three Dive mm -hmm. and the infamous Dowling Lucio. Yeah. Okay, waiting for her opportunity to go in for a hack. I'm guessing I'm going to try and hack the D.Va. We do see a couple, very surprising, we do see a couple hit scans on, oh, so they were using the Sombra just for recon. And we got, ooh, okay. the Hanzo Widow sniper battle. Oh, double sniper, let's go. So, they do have double Widows. The only thing that's different is the McCree versus the Hanzo. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's going to be a lot of, Ooh. Oh, there we go. Wolfpack actually taking down Singularity this time. And, but then there's Jub Jub once again finding him and hitting his mark. And now, in the meantime, they essentially let them push right underneath the 
bridge there, which is pretty close to where they actually need to go to score the point for the game. You blazing, diving in the middle pretty well. Everybody's staying relatively Jug healthy. Jug getting another pick as well. Mm -hmm. well. Oh, on top of the Mercy, that's going to be a bad time. Diva Bomb coming up from Don't Touch Me to even give him some more space. Jub Jub on a tear, just looking for the, the back line and the Dragon Strike. Actually taking a kill out on the healer. Oh my goodness, so much like spacing, so much death. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that <sound> <laughs> I don't even have any words at this point. That was just disgusting. Well, you know what? It shows, and it shows that they can be very flexible. And shows that, you know, Jobs can play the Hanzo, he can play Widow, and he can play in his GOATS role. He can play them all very, very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was that final play there. It took a one, two, maybe a third, wow. and then the Dragon Strike on top of that. Not going to show it, but got another kill off of that as well. Absolutely brutal. It was a very well played game, and uh, look forward to seeing more Saints gaming, because that was very exciting.